my little habit that got me through days, the Starbucks mocha. Loved it. I loved it for years. I used to say, but it's cheaper than therapy. I dropped my kids off at preschool and I'd run to get this. It wasn't until I started doing the research that I found out my delicious <laughs> coffee flavored habit. With that, I was taking in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was taking in 10 teaspoons of sugar with my drink. Well, you might say, well, okay, that looks kind of bad, but how bad is it? The World Health Organization has set limits for what your body can safely process each day. Your body, I don't want you to walk out and say, oh my gosh, the wellness lady said we can't have any sugar ever. <laughs> no, your body can process some sugar. That number is 25 grams. I like you to remember that as the Hershey bar test. Okay, a Hershey bar, everyone knows what it is. Anyone here not had a Hershey bar? No, it's American. Has 22 grams of sugar. So when you think about your sugar consumption, think of it in terms of candy bars. When I was drinking my coffee, I was drinking two candy bars of sugar, 54 grams of sugar. It hides in everything. I have this delightful little margarita glass because some of us, you know, might think nothing about going out and having you know, a drink. From uh, Hula Hands, I went on theirs because they listed all their drinks online. I was like, well, I can find out how much. A 16 ounce, a little bit bigger than this, but not their biggest. They went all the way up to 32 ounces. A 16 ounce has the equivalent of three candy bars. All that sugar. So it hides in everything. So that's really something that is one of our big problems. It's hiding, and we don't even know it's there.